Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, click on exit and then launch Steam again and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, then simply restart your computer and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click, try launching the game from here. If that does not work, open lockdown protocol folder, binaries win64, then make a double click on this exe file and then check. Still not working, make a right click on this exe file, go to properties, go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then click on OK and then make a double click launch the game from here. Still not working, go to properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game from here. Still not working, do the same thing with this exe file. So just make a right click and then go to properties and do the same thing. Put a check over here, then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, and open this folder, binaries, win64. Do the same thing over here, make a right click, select properties, and you can uncheck these boxes. And then follow the next step. Now the next step is to now, if you have any any kind of antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security in Windows 10, in Windows 11. In Windows 10, you will have an option Update and Security, and then click on Windows Security. Now click on virus and threat protection, scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, then click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the C drive. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on open. Again, click on Add and Allowed App, Browse All Apps, open this folder, Binaries, Win64, select this exe file and then click on Open. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So first of all, when you launch the game, if DX12 is selected over here, in that case you can try, select the first one and then click on Play. If this, this is already checked, in that case you can try DX12, click on play and then check. Still not working, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check, still not working. You can even try dash DX12 this time and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files but when you do so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can go to explorer then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder and here you can see lockdown protocol so you can simply make a right click on this folder and then you can rename it, but you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you want to create a backup, you can copy this and maybe put it to the desktop. You can create a backup if you want and you can rename it as whatever you want. So I will rename it lockdownprotocol.old. Now you can launch the game, still not working, make a right click and then you can delete this folder. And once this is deleted, you can launch the game and then check, but you will lose all the game progress. 
Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Again, click on browse and then this time open lockdown protocol folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added now click on options select high performance now click on save now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files now once this verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download both the file and then run the cxc file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case, it is already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this error. Now download this x64. Again, you have to run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once both are installed, you will see a restart option like this. Restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to update windows to the latest version so for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 
1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49. 15152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, you have to go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So the, if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.